Hello, welcome to my uh, channel Game Studio. So here is the tutorial f for the block puzzle game on Android. You can see on the screen, you see the uh, the gameplay, and uh, we can we will do some code that made this game in the. Is there some next video? Alright, so here is the first video. Um, you can see on my channel, I I already uh, so the so the game on a video, and here is all my game on the store. You can see so here for the for my game and you can click that and see uh, some uh, image for the game here is the oh sorry something wrong with this okay So here you can see the completely, completely the game uh, with uh, with all the other thing in the UI. But in uh, this, um, something uh, is missing. Uh, don't worry, it's not necessary. Um, they are all not necessary for this tutorial because. Uh, what we learn is the logit and either uh, is something that's very important like uh, uh, animation like movement and like algorithm not the UI okay so the UI is uh, like I said for every every video it's not very important and it's very easy to understand and, and easy to implement after you you know how to do with uh, with this uh, with something like this okay so I will play the game to show you uh, something right so here is the first screen uh, named tutorial so you just uh, press just touch on the on the shaper here and move on put it on the board that fits the uh, the lighting box here you can see All right so the light disappear and here we have uh, another light vertical and put it here and the last one so now you can after three tutorial you can understand how to play this game all right so now is your uh, your turn okay this game is very easy you just fix all the right you, you just make a line or a uh, around that uh, fully with the board like this okay so uh, every board every time you you uh, you might disappear around or light a multiple round or multiple lights you can get the score here Okay, like this. So the score is going up. All right. So here I I have uh, the project that I coded before, and I put this project on the GitHub, and you can get the all our project uh, from the links on the description. 
below this video right so for this video I will show you uh, something basic before so let's go now we need to need to uh, create a new project on Android Studio oh wait I need to show you something more before we create a project I need to uh, if you if you uh, don't know about the Android please learn about Android and uh, uh, at least you must to know something basic in Android programming and then uh, you can go to this tutorial and let's continue and um, you can continue with this tutorial all right so here we have uh, the the Android Studio the idea is that you can you can write code and run the code and match something more on uh, programming with Android this is a powerful tool right so let's continue we click the file new project and to empty activity click next here I put the name the uh, plot puzzle and select the language Java right so before uh, uh, so the previous project I use Kotlin for my app summer app so uh, here is so the calling first uh, so I need to change Java so okay here I will change the, the package name to the game studio and to the alright so for the I will I will keep the default direction uh, direction all right and click finish so my computer is uh, a little slowly okay so I need to close this project to uh, remove okay the project is running to uh, set up to so need the project all right I will pause the video to uh, make this faster So after we after Android Studio build a project, now we have a project here. So open the app and Java and see the main activity here. All right, and then we will click the run button here and to the device so I al already open it the device here for the to uh, for forwarding the project so you can make a device by click on the device manager here and then you can create a new one for you by a click the create virtual device here if you don't want to use a virtual device you can use the real device by uh, connect the device to the PC or to your computer and then enable the USB debug All right so that's easy to uh, 
to uh, set up. <coughs> All right, so we let's start it with. Let's continue with this project. All right, then I will click the run button and to the the open it already and click OK. And so now we will have uh, we uh, we uh, have to uh, wait to the the Android Studio build. All right, so now we have uh, the the first uh, activity we for uh, just appear attack hello world, All right? So now I will go to the main, to activity main, and here we will change the the text view here for a surface view. So for this game, I will use a surface view. So for a surface view, if you don't know, uh, you don't know the surface view, you can uh, search on the Google and search surface view Android. Right, so you can. Uh, find something, some more information about surface view alright so go back to Android Studio and here in the packet I will create a new Java class and create the class put the name that the game surface view and a super class that a surface view the view Android. All right, and click OK. For the Sophie view, we need to uh, create a constructor machine super. We have uh, three constructor for by default. All right, so we we don't need to change anything about the constructors the thing we need to do here is override the, the draw method and in here I will write I will use canvas and uh, draw something like draw the field, draw the rectangle with the uh, top is 10 and the, uh, I'm sorry, for the left is 10 and the top is 10 and the right is uh, 2, sorry, 100 and uh, bottom is 200 and for the pen we need to define a pen here all right so for the pen we will import the class for the pen from android graphic pen and give a, a new stand for the pen and here we just put the pen for the last parameter with the pen we set the color for the for the rect uh, for a rectangle that we will draw uh, all right for the color i will set the white to be for easy to understand to, uh, to see all right so let's go back to the activity main and here we change the game surface view and here we will uh, match parent put the match parent for filling up the screen and here we don't need to uh, use the const 
the constraint layout. We can we can remove it. Alright, I can remove it all the constraint, but uh, you need to keep it because uh, in the future you you may use the add view and something view uh, instead you know, some something view outside the, the surface view uh, for the S and for something like that. Okay, so uh, maybe here you can keep it. Alright, so after we change it, we're, let's run it again. Wait for the result. All right. So uh, you can see here we have uh, the the surface view with a black background. So why? Yeah. Um, for the draw method, we already draw a rectangle, but nothing, nothing so here. So why? I will, uh, all right. I will draw some code and will and explain it to you. We will implement a surface holder with the callback, and then implement the method for the callback. So, in the surface created, I will. Uh, Revalid, sorry, invalidate. So when you can't invalidate, uh, the the view will also can't draw again, and so uh, we will see the we will see uh, our rectangle. All right, and let's run it again. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, before we do that, we need to uh, private for init. We define callback, so we need to set the the callback listener to the to the view to this view. So it can uh, uh, it can emit a a notify a notification to the the callback. All right. So here, for the init, we will uh, get get the holder and add the callback with this. So this this is an is a is also a callback because we implement the callback, right? So for every constructor, we just call the init init method right involve them all right let's run it again oh So, sorry, I I can't in it uh, in the in it. So that's very bad. Sorry, sorry again.
all right so uh, see the result oh still don't happen something hmm all right after see my my old project I uh, I see some mistake here so I'm sorry uh, because the surface view uh, it, uh, is different with some view in the Android and the surface view for the canvas we need to uh, get the lock canvas and then we uh, we can draw something on that love canvas and after after draw we need to unlock the canvas all right so i will is, explain uh, more clearly in the next video so for this video i will just show you draw something with the love canvas all right so here i need to create a new method like uh, dry drawer and put the canvas here lock canvas sorry lock it canvas mm. no. no we just get the, the holder surface holder right and then I will get the canvas right for the canvas um, we get the love canvas from the holder by the method love canvas and then we will call the draw and set the love canvas here and uh, so before that we need to check if the canvas not new we will do that and after do that we will uh, uh, right we will unlock the the canvas All right so now for the surface surface created we just call the try draw and put the the holder here for the parameter all right so just click run it again So as you can see here we just draw we just uh, drew a rectangle on the laptop of the screen. Alright, for that's it for video and for the next video I will explain it to you more clearly. So don't worry about uh, about something something in this because we will have a uh, more and many more many videos so uh, you can understand all things all right so uh, thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye